Replacing old appliances with energy-efficient models can cut your electric bill by hundreds of dollars a year. If you shop now, you may qualify for a rebate from the government under a program similar to last year's Cash for Clunkers. And here's more good news. The experts at Consumer Reports have found that in most cases, you can buy a high-performing appliance that also saves energy at a reasonable price. Mark Connolly, who oversees product testing for Consumer Reports, took us into several testing labs to explain the science behind these results. First up, dishwashers. How do you test dishwashers? Well, the first thing we do with dishwashers is we challenge them with a lot of dirty dishes. So in this case, we have 10 very soiled place settings. As you can see, here Yuck. is one of the saucers. <laughs> and there's different foods. There's jam, peanut butter, cheese Whiz, coffee grounds sprinkled around. Amazingly, testers found that almost all the models in their lab made these soiled dishes spotless. I would say you would need to spend about $500 and for a good performing, relatively quiet, not a lot of bells and whistle dishwasher. Will you get any energy efficiency by spending extra money? Not necessarily. Wow. Next, washing machines. So, this is our washing machine lab. The most important test for washing machines is simply how clean they get your clothes. Consumer Reports buys fabric swatches with stains like wine and blood, then throws them in the wash. Most people think most washers do the exact same thing. They all do a good job. Not so. As you can see in our test, there's some pretty big differences. Yeah. Of course, the manufacturers can make the wash cycle very aggressive to get out all the dirt, but the downside of that is they could start tearing up your clothes. So at the same time as we put these soiled swatches, these are called gentleness cloths. Look at the gentleness cloth. It's That's beautiful. That's how it goes in. Wait a second. You see like that, okay? There you go. Also okay. optional at Halloween. Again, the results can be dramatic. That's a huge difference. And that's just one wash cycle. Washing machine prices have dropped by as much as 33% over the past year, but you'll still pay considerably more for a front loader versus a top loader. The primary benefit with front loading washers is that they spin at much higher speeds than the conventional top loaders. Uh -huh. What that does is it gets all the water out of the clothes mechanically. And the reason that saves you money is because when you take those same wet clothes and put them in the dryer, the dryer has to work less hard. And finally, Connolly showed off the refrigerator labs. All right. Each one of these blue wires is basically a temperature reading that we take. And in the bottom here... Wow, it's a lot of spinach, man. We have man. lots of spinach. Hmm. So in each package of spinach, we also have temperature sensors. And you can see ah. that basically that we do the same thing in the freezer that we do in the refrigerator. We're trying to see or ascertain that the temperature is uniform, that you don't have very cold in one spot, very warm in another spot. These French door style refrigerators are becoming very popular. Unfortunately, they also tend to be energy hogs thanks to ice and water dispensers on their doors. As Connolly points out, buying a new appliance is all about balancing features and efficiency. Because ultimately, you want an appliance that cuts your energy bill and gets the job done.